Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new software release for Unify Site Manager and Unify Protect. That release is Unify Vantage Point. Vantage Point allows us to combine up to three Unify Protect instances regardless of physical location or what console that Protect is running on and puts the three consoles into a single pane for easy viewing and monitoring. If you're new here, make sure to hit the sub button as we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. Now let's get right into setting up Unify Vantage Point. Before we get started with the configuration, there are a few limitations to note. It is currently English only, cannot use shortcuts, cannot archive to cloud support, so Microsoft 365 or Google Drive, and you wouldn't want to use a stacked NVR for this. I'm signed into my site manager and you could see there's three consoles on the screen. The first one is my brother's place with the Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. The second one is my place with the UMVR Pro. And the third one is my mom's with the Unify Dream Wall. So it doesn't matter which console we use as long as it runs Protect. Now to set up our vantage point, you could see right at the top, it says vantage point. We just need to click here. There's a big splash page that comes up. It says scale up your camera security with Unify vantage point. Consolidate your multiple Protect sites into one unified interface. Zero NVR selected, you could add up to three. So I'm gonna click on all three of these and we're gonna say get started. And this is the Unify vantage point with all of the three sites combined. We could see my place at the top and if we scroll down, we would see my brothers and my mom. On the left hand side, we could see all of the MVRs and we could click on manage NVR if we wanna take one of them out and add a different one. But you can see Mac Telecom UMVR, all my cameras are up at my brothers, all the cameras are up. And then at my mom's, there are two offline. They have a couple G4 instances that they just plug in randomly wherever they want around the home. In total, we have 21 cameras that are active. We could see the video archiving, which would download directly to your machine. There is no cloud support as of yet. And then we have our recent detections. So we could see there was a catio movement, probably one of my cats. And then we have a driveway, which is over at my brother's. So this does combine your recent detections between all of your sites. But if we click on the recent detections, to see each different site, we have this drop down. So we have my place, then we have my brothers, and then we have my mom. So that doesn't get combined in this tab. Going back to the main dashboard, this is showing all of our cameras. That's a default view that we have on, but we can change our view. We just need to go down and then click on these three dots. Clicking on there, we could add multi-view. Now from here, we could choose what type of grid we want. It's currently set to four and that's fine for me. I'm gonna put one on from each site. So we'll do garage level, which is at my mom's. I'll scroll down a little bit further. We'll do driveway at my brother's. We'll do my backyard garden and then we'll do my catio and then I'll press save. This makes it easier for you to pick and choose which cameras you wanna view at any given time. Now we're just gonna go down the left-hand pane and we're gonna see what we can and we can't do. On the device tab, we could see every 21 cameras from all three of our sites and we could see the updates that we need to do. If we go over to playback, it's the same thing. We could scroll down and then we could also see all of the cameras, select the camera that we wanna view and then do the playback. Going over to detections, this is where it's gonna be per site. So we'll have to click the drop down menu to select which protect instance that we wanna take a look at. The same goes for the recognition page. We have to select which protect we wanna take a look at for it to show up. You could see myself, Chantel and Jay on the recognition that is going on my NVR. Under the system log, it's gonna be the exact same way. We need to select which protect we wanna take a look at and then we could see what's going on. We look at our settings wheel, and then we have our recording manager, which allows us to look at all of our cameras. I could select them all, and then we could say which options we wanna do, when we want them to record, if we want it to be continuous or events only, and then we could create our motion zones and our AI events. For our alerting, we have to do this individually by the protect instance. Same with our system, it's gonna be per unify protect if we wanna make any changes. Another use case for Vantage Point is to scale locally. We have a client with multiple floors within the same building, and rather than spend extra money on physical infrastructure, such as cabling, we could use Vantage Point to give them that single interface. A couple things that I would like to see happen with Vantage Point is the ability to add more than three sites. It would also be great to have the ability to have more than one Vantage Point. This would be something similar to the site magic where we could have multiple. 
And lastly, adding vantage point to the viewport, I think that would be great for a lot of people. And that's gonna be it for this video. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about Unify Vantage Point. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.